supposed to throw stuff into the furnace. For Ahti. So I guess that's kind of an extra place, maybe. Let's go there. Let's make it active. Sorry, I don't want to get copyright strike for that music or something. That's nasty. Ew. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a canister of radioactive waste. Is this considered trash? I Crash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? <laughs> Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Christ, it's bright. Probably down below. Damage boost, two ability points. Thanks, Ahti. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered the Code Omega Paranatural Entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. It eats people? We just fed it some toxic waste, but it sounds like it eats people. Are you actually sentient? Tube complaint. Hey, Bozer. 
Get this, the accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery, and then if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? <sighs> just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Why do they use mail tubes? Seems like a lot of hassle, and yeah, the whole shifting nature of everything means... That seems like a bad idea? Is what it means? <laughs> I might be able to get over there. Damn! I'm proud of myself for that, even though I can't actually get in in. <laughs> you can go up it! Just weirdly. Was that a thing up there? I think that might be a thing. Oh, come on, you can grab it? Yeah! Oh my god! You're meant to be able to get up here. I guess they didn't mind the weird animation. The threshold kids? Uh. Is that the threshold kids? It might not be, I don't know. How am I supposed to get in there? Oh no! Hmm. Wait a minute. There's another one in here. That's really, really strange. Do you think I may be supposed to feed these to the furnace? They seem too special for me to do nothing with them. If something special happens, it might be that you need them all. We know there's at least two. So let's go get the other one. God, is this really a thing? It might be, might not be, I have no idea. Oh, yes! Ah, yes! Please validate me, game. Tell me this is something. If it does anything, it's probably going to be some sort of a Easter egg. I don't think it's going to be story related. Okay, 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 okay. Off camera, I'm gonna see if I can find more. I just discovered you can actually get behind the furnace. Haven't found any other TVs though, but let's check back here. The 
This whole thing is so suspicious. You can really just like mash your way to some really interesting places. Did you hide a TV up here? Did you? Is there one in the rafters? There isn't. You know what's super, super weird is that where we got this TV up here, there's a spot here where stuff can fall down. And it even looks like there's, I think that's a ladder. But from down below, that, that doesn't come out down below. So it either goes literally nowhere, or I guess more likely there's some secret chamber over there. Oh, wait a minute. There's that weird squiggly bit on the map. That raggedy thing. Where... Where is that? That's towards the coolant pumps, isn't it? Yeah, okay. It's just, it's all very strange, but I cannot find another TV. I'm going to wait a while and see if we come back to this for some reason. Like we turn in the furnace quest, although I think it automatically turned it in. I wonder if I can jump up there. Actually, I can definitely jump up there. If I do something... Something like that. Good enough, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess you can't grapple on that. Hmm. Couple ability points. Plus 50% launch damage. I should get more energy, though. Oh, wait, I can't. Not yet. I don't know if I care about melee. It'd probably be a mistake to neglect it. Yeah, okay. I love how this looks, all these jagged rocks and shiny surfaces. We need to hurry. From. Looks like it came from behind me. Oh. It fast. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the corner. Throw the spoon in the corner? What? I feel like Ahti is throwing out like Finnish idioms that are poorly translated into English, but I'm not sure at all. I'm not familiar with Finnish idioms. I 
thought it might be a TV. Don't know how far and wide these fiery TVs might be stored, huh? supposed to do something probably up there, but I want to know what's in here. That is disgusting. My old enemy, the Glock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Oh my god. I want that to touch me. Oh, wow, that hurt a lot. Gonna come down. Hold on, how do I get there? Uh huh. Ooh, shatter projectile boost. Ah, oh, same as the current one I have. complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ahti keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Oh, wait a second. This thing's got some lights on it that look just like these power cubes. Does it slot in there? Aha! Damn, violent. 
Okay. So, where are the other ones? Thirty out of fifty enemies without dying. Here's another one. need some health drops. for taking the elevator. Oh! I think I'm gonna keep my distance. Jesus, that did not do much. Ah. I regen health if I'm really, really low. Regen up to a certain fairly low amount. I want to make sure that happens before I start attacking them again. It's been a while and it hasn't happened. Let's get some more distance.
I can shoot them, but they don't seem to shoot me from that far away. Oh, I saw their health for a second. Yeah, it's really, really low. Oh, thank God. Whew. His trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown altered world events, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They're heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. I don't have that ability yet. Plus, they didn't shoot grenades at me. Seems like they dropped health as I shot them, not just at the end. Useful, good to know. So we can go back the way we came if we wanted to. Where does this go though? I get up there. I hear shooting. someone left? Feels like there is. Ah. 
Aha. What's your read on all this? When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Ooh, we can talk about a lot. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. <laughs> no. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau. And it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much, only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? I should be going. Try to stay right. alive. You got a lockdown to lift. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head on back to the NSC energy converters and this time try to actually fix them. <laughs>